Welcome. I'm going to take you through a brief overview of Sage Intact's standard revenue recognition using the project and order entry modules. We will start with a quick view of the combined modules capabilities, visibility into your project revenue through dashboards and financial reports, a comprehensive look at the information available to you by project and customer, ease of invoice generation, insight into deferred revenue, and extended operational reports. With our standard project revenue recognition, we have one system of record, project and sales orders and invoicing that supports multi-currency, line items with different revenue recognition templates and schedules, inventory and non-inventory line items, timesheets, project expenses, and the full fixed fee project amount represented in the general ledger. With the automated revenue, we can recognize revenue differently than invoicing, straight line re recognition based on months, exact days, contract length, or fixed periods, project billing and recognition based on estimated or actual percent complete by task or project, optionally defer revenue recognition until one or all items are delivered, and set revenue schedules to post automatically or review and post manually. We can also have billing, revenue, cash forecasting, as well as budgeting and planning by project and customer. The native integration with Salesforce allows you to create and work opportunities in Salesforce, mark the opportunity as one to record the sales order, allow the finance team to confirm the opportunity, project, and products to prepare the billing and revenue recognition schedules, and when the sales order is posted in Intact, the line items sync to Salesforce. View the completed Intact project sales order and associated invoices through the opportunity in Salesforce. As soon as you log into Sage Intact, you can see the information that is important to you, regardless of your role. We're starting with the project manager dashboard to see how hours, labor costs, expenses are all performing against the budget, as well as how revenue and gross profit compare to previous years. Visual indicators easily alert you to favorable and not so favorable outcomes. Dashboards can consist of any number of components, including but not limited to performance cards, lists, menu items, and financial reports with selection criteria that applies to the entire dashboard. You'll notice here in my project snapshot that I am showing the high level finances for each one of these individual projects where I'm going to see the accounts receivable open on the project, what's been billed to date, my revenue period ending, hours that have been worked, labor costs, et cetera. As with all intact reports, you're able to drill into those numbers to see the source reports and ultimately transactions that contributed to that number. We're now going to go look at the kind of the building blocks for setting up the revenue recognition by the projects. We'll first take a look at our project where we're going to set that up for the customer, give it a name and begin and end dates. We can also optionally add a project manager. We're able to set up almost like a predefined billing template with future dates and a percent complete to bill. This particular one is set up to be time and material. However, you can also have fixed fee and fixed fee plus expenses. We set up the contract amount and you're able to identify whether or not you want billable expenses and AP bills to be included when you invoice. You can predefine your dimensions on that project. So as soon as you put the project number on any transaction, it's going to default those dimensions into that transaction. You can alternately assign employees and resources along with a billing rate for any time and materials. The project summary is going to show you that high level buckets again for your deferred revenue, billings, et cetera you're going to be able to see any budgeted billing amount, what your duration for the hours is, and what our actual billings and total costs are against this project. You're also able to see the billable hours and any non-billable hours that go with it. And our invoice options, we're actually able to say we want to do anything if there's a budgeted, if we're against the budgeted billing amount, we can issue a warning if those actual billings exceed, or we can prevent the billing altogether. If we go in and look at the tasks that are associated, we'll see we can also set up milestones as well as looking at the percent complete. 
The next building block is going to be our revenue recognition templates, which can be determined by percent complete. They can go by milestone. The percent complete can be by budgeted amounts, estimated or observed percent complete. Straight line for strictly order revenue recognition would be either by 12 months or we can do it by contract term over fixed periods. Optionally with the projects, we can associate billing templates. Again, by looking at either milestones based on estimated hours or observed percent complete, or based on project or task percent complete based on estimated hours. Or We're gonna now look at a sales order that's been set up with the projects and the revenue recognition templates. Unlike contracts, order entry revenue recognition can apply to both items and regular and non-inventory items. Line items can contain a combination of regular and deferred items. You'll notice that we have a combination of revenue recognition templates here between 12 month and contract term. We can view the recognition schedule by clicking on view summary, which is going to show us the total amount percent, an amount recognized, amount deferred, next posting date, and next posting amount. You can alternately view the schedule, which is going to provide the actual entries, their scheduled dates, and whether or not they've been posted. You're also able to place this schedule on hold, terminate it, or edit it should you want to change an amount or a posting date. We previously said that you're going to be able to see your entire amount sitting out in the general ledger. So as soon as you post it, we're going to be hitting the deferred revenue and unbilled AR. From here, you can go through and you can convert your order into a sales invoice by a click of a button, go in, there's absolutely no need to do rekeying, any sales tax can be applied, and then you would go in and post at which point you've relieved the unbilled AR and you're both posting it to accounts receivable. We can see those invoices then in the accounts receivable module, be able to go in, look at the documents here with the transaction amounts, take a look at our posting details, which is going to show you here how we have now credited out the unbilled AR and we've now debited our accounts receivable. Once in the accounts receivable module, now you're able to receive cash against those invoices. So depending on how the revenue template is configured, deferred revenue can be posted automatically or manually. Managed revenue schedules allows you to preview the entries before they are posted by viewing the total amount, the amount recognized, what's been deferred, next posting date, and the next posting amount. You can also future date the revenue so that you're able to see anything that's going to be automatically posted and the point in time that it will be posted. There are several operational reports that are available to you and specifically with our deferred revenue. We can take a look at the deferred revenue details which is going to give us a reporting period or a start and end date when you want to look at that amount deferred or recognized based on the transaction date or posting date. You have filters, including your revenue accounts and any of your dimensional values. We're going to view the report, which is going to show us by customer and by item. We're going to see the revenue account as well, and you'll be able to see the base amount, amount deferred, and any amount that has been recognized. As with all Sage Intact reports, you're able to export it to Excel for further analysis. The deferred revenue forecast is going to show you what you can expect to recognize over the course of several months or periods. You can set up for monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, or annually. You can make your revenue account or deferred revenue. As we view this, again, we're going to see by the revenue account, 
by customer, and we have the item names as well. You're going to see the full 12 months, everything that's expected in each one of those months, along with the total for the customer and total for the entire organization. We also have a graphical representation of that same revenue forecast where I can provide the same parameters. I have the same selection criteria. And when I view, I'm able to see that deferred revenue broken down by sales category. As I hover over each one of the columns, I'm going to be able to see the amount that is represented. So as you can see, Sage Intex order entry and project revenue recognition and reporting provides the visibility and flexibility you need to easily and accurately recognize revenue and generate invoices on different schedules and report on operational schedules with dimensional reporting. You're able to add sales orders and projects through Salesforce or directly through Sage Intech, whatever works best for your organization. With Sage Intech, you have anywhere, anytime access to your environment, since all you need is an internet connection. Thank you for taking the time to look at Sage Intech's revenue management module.